Hello everybody, I'm Key Draws, and I really hope you like that new intro it took forever to make, but I know I haven't been uploading a lot recently, so I decided that I would make a Condi tour as a way to come back. The last thing I uploaded before I left was a short Condi tour, but things have changed a lot and I can no longer fit all of my Condi in a little bin. So strap in, because this one is going to be a long one. I'm going to be organizing this video into chapters so it's a little easier to navigate. Stay to the end, because the last one is the largest piece of Condi I've ever made. The singles category isn't that interesting, so I'm just gonna run through them really quickly. Story. This one used to be on a rotator that I scrapped for some beads. This one isn't technically a single, but I didn't know where else to put it. Peyote stitches are common forms of condi, so I don't really have many of them. This was actually my first condi. Right now, the wolverine side is with my bestie, so I can't show that off. You'll remember this one if you've watched my shorts recently. I don't really know what the idea was for this one. Alrighty, we finally got to my favorite part. Patterns are one of my favorite types of condi to make, not only because they're time consuming, but the end result always looks really cool. An example is this first cuff, which is X-Men themed. After the first pattern I made, I wanted something simpler, so I went with this. Not gonna lie, when I was making this, it kind of reminded me of the Undertale souls. Carousels are very time consuming, which is why I don't have many. This one is by far my biggest and took about three hours. When I first made this, I was extremely proud of it, but now it looks a little messy. I really like this one because not only is it cute, but it's also deceitful. The miscellaneous section is the biggest by far. I have a lot of condi that I can't confidently put in one section. And it would take a very long time if I went through all of these one by one, so I'm just gonna do a rapid fire. This one was made right before my first ever carousel, and I really, really like it. Um, this one is a secret project for a later short. Let's get it off the screen. This section is dedicated to all the condi I've been gifted over the last few months. Frank and Eddie are my favorite characters from Welcome Home, and I would tag the person who made these in the description, but I don't know if they have a channel, but if they do, I'll have them in the description. This lovely single and the next two Condi pieces were gifted to me by my friend Squid. I have their channel linked in the description. And now, since you've waited to the end of the video, here is the masterpiece. Yeah, it's a full-size rotator made completely out of letter beads. To make this more digestible, I'm gonna cut it up into its three major parts. This is the base of the rotator made from AXs, with some more on the sides to prevent the other cuffs from falling off. This is the carousel that goes on top of the base. I purposefully made it colorful to contrast the black and white shades of the base. The carousel wasn't enough to take up room on the base, so I made this extra UFO with a similar theme to the carousel. And 
now that I'm done with my tour, I thought it would be fun to show my top three favorite condi. The third place spot goes to my litter rotator. While it is impressive and took a long time, I honestly don't think it's my favorite. But it deserves a top three just because of the effort. The second place spot goes to my X-Men pattern cuff. Not only is it my first pattern cuff, but the memories associated with it are very important to me. Now, it's time for my favorite Condi cuff, which has to be the Star X Base. Not only do I have positive memories with the creation of this cuff, but it also just makes me feel so excited when I look at it. It really is a fun wear. Thank you so much for watching this video. I've worked a pretty long time on it, and as you can probably tell, it is past midnight when I'm editing this part. I really just wanted to come back with something that I was proud of and to prove that I'm not leaving YouTube behind. So thank you for all the support that you guys have given me on my shorts. I recently hit 1.1k and that's really terrifying, but I'm also very thankful. This is really the dream, and I thank all of you viewers for making it happen. Now, I don't have a proper outro made yet. I'm sure by the next time I upload a long form, it'll have one. So, um, in the meantime, this was Key Draws. Have a good day.